In this psychological study, we are researching the effects of the chunking effect, the recency effect, the primacy effect, and the von Restorff effect. The chunking effect is when you take individual units of information and group them into larger, more familiar units, such as taking LBM into MLB, which more people would be more likely to remember. The recency effect is when you remember things more towards the end of a list of information. The primacy effect is the opposite, meaning that you would remember things toward the beginning of a list. And the von Restorff effect is the uh, phenomenon that you remember, that you tend to remember things that stand out on the list, which are distinct from the other information in that list. You just signed these forms. It says that you're partaking in our experiment and that you are over 18. So thank you for signing. What's the date of the So now if you can just recite back all the letters. Um, After conducting these three tests, we were able to identify the four psychological phenomenons in question. For chunking, participants who were given letters in familiar abbreviations were able to recall the letters better and more accurately than those given the letters in scrambled order. We were easily able to identify the von Restorff effect, as well as the primacy and recency effects. Participants were given a list of 19 words. In one list, 18 of the words were vegetables, listed in Times New Roman and 12 font. However, one word, celery, was bolded. All six participants, different than those in the chunking experiment, were able to recall the word celery from the given list. This accurately shows the von Restorff effect, being able to recall an unfam unfamiliar and odd word in a group of familiar ones. Also, all six participants later recalled words from the beginning and ends of the list, remembering words like broccoli and radishes. This shows us how the primacy and recency recalling someone from the beginning and the end. Effects have an effect on our memories. <laughs> 